All right, so I want to test this to make sure it's going to be strong enough because it's you know it's holding the wheels on. Um, I can't find the other type of gun right now, so let's go ahead and. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of pressure on that and that's holding really good so what I've done is I've bought some longer bolts and I'm going to show you on the inside here I am going to put the longer bolts in there and then I'm going to put flat washers lock washers and nuts from inside so it's gonna have the threads holding it on there from this plate that they've got in there and then it's going to have some flat washers lock washers and some nuts and then I'm going to use thread locker also that way I won't have to worry about them coming loose uh, now I know there's a difference in thickness right here but there's really not anything else you could do to avoid that I guess I could get and put some washers to make it even but then that's gonna set at a different height than all the other ones so I'd have to put them on all of them to get the right height which I've got two different lengths of bolts so I'm not worried about that and I might even have enough flat washers extra flat washers to um, do that on all of them which that's really well actually that's pretty even so that way the wheels will be at the same height and it won't be lopsided and move back and forth um, I don't think it's going to do anything as far as strength of the bolts holding it on there. <coughs> Let me go ahead and put one on there like that and kind of pull on it and stuff and we'll see what it does. Let's try the shorter bolts first. and. Uh, and then I'll look down inside and see if I need to go with the longer ones. The nice thing is we've got a farm and home store here called Orschlands. And they sell the nuts and bolts <coughs> by the pound. So, it's not going to cost me that much more to do it this way. So, let's go ahead and try it and see what we got. Doesn't want 
start for some reason. These threads aren't the best in the world. Did I not get the right? No, they're the right ones. That one's real easy, so let's at least get that one on there. I might have to make a a bolt and cut some grooves in it to make a chase because these aren't wanting to go on there at all. They go, but they get tight. Let me see. Okay, that one's going all right. Them threads aren't the best in there. So... really should have flipped this up on its top to do this but it didn't look too sturdy so I didn't want to take a chance and and uh, oh, I did put a washer on that one when I didn't need to would have kind of defeated the whole purpose of doing this. So let's see if we can get this last one. All right, there we go. Now let's see if we can get it started. good them others I'm just not and it would be nice if I could get some power tools on this but which I may have to I don't think a socket would go no a socket wouldn't go on there so I guess I'm stuck doing it at least you got ratcheting wrenches um, I think a smart idea is gonna be to tighten one of these bolts and then look down inside and see how we're doing for length and then that way I'm not putting all four bolts in there and turn around and having to take them back out again because they're too long. Man, things are long. Okay, it tightened up nice and tight. So... Let me take my flashlight, look down inside. That should be one that's sticking out too. I might have to cut on this a little bit to get access to some of them, like these inside ones here. So let me 
take another flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And then... See what we're looking at. And then, once I get it on there, I'll show you guys. It's a pretty nice toolbox other than having the wheels not tighten up all the way. taking a trip back to Orsman's in the morning and getting some shorter ones because that would be, that'd be 16 of them and I'd have to cut off. Let's get this nut speed gun on there. That sticks out quite a bit. The real question is, yeah, and that's the shorter one, that's the 30 millimeter. So the real question is, will it stick up past the lip on the bottom of these and the bottom drawer won't? go in or we'll hit on it so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put a top one in and then we'll go from there so let me put this top one in real quick and then i'll bring you up here and show you what i've got going on could have swore i Measured those, but I'm not the best at measuring. That'd be my dad. He's the he's the woodworker and all that. good news is the thread's pretty good on this one right here and it's just going in by hand so it'll give me an idea oh yeah I got I got a finger width of uh, clearance between the lip on the bottom and let me see if I can get some I'll hold the flashlight and so I'll try to go real slow so it's not too jiggly So you can see it doesn't come up past this bottom lip right here. It doesn't come up past that bottom lip. So I'm okay on that. And then further on down in there, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it looks like. And then, like I was saying, I'll probably have to cut 
on that side there to get the clearance I need to reach back in there to get the nut and all that to go on there so I think that'll be okay to do it like that so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the other one drilled out because there was actually two of them that wouldn't tighten up and then get these wheels back on here and then uh, we can come back and take a look at the where we're at that point and then I think that will be a call it a night and then uh, start tomorrow morning and then uh, finish her up. 